Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope that everybody is doing great and ready to learn something new today. Before we start our lesson, let's pray together. Bless God, let your blessing go with me today and grant that I may be obedient to my teachers and may learn with pleasure whatever I am taught. Amen. Today, we are going to learn about average. Now, please get your mathematics textbook, workbook, and stationery. Are you ready? Yay! Let's study happily, kids. Okay, now let's start our discussion about understanding average. Please open your math textbook on page 74, learn 1a. Dewi has three shelves. Elijah has four shelves. And Felix has five shelves. If all the shelves are shared equally among the children, how many shelves does each child get? Dewi has three shelves. Elia has four shells and Felix has five shells. Three, four, and five. To divide the shells equally, we need to put the shells into three groups. Is there another method? That's right! We need to collect all the shells together and then distribute them equally into three groups. One, two, three. Three groups. Hence, we can calculate the answer by first adding all the numbers together and then dividing the total by three. Why do we divide the total by 3? Correct! Because there are 3 children, Dewi, Elia, and Felix. So first, find the total number of the shells. What is 3 plus 4 plus 5? It is 12. Good job! Now, divide the total number of shells by the number of children. 12 divided by 3. What is the answer? It is 4. How many shells does each child get? Each child gets 4 shells when the shells are shared equally among the children. We say that the average of 3, 4, and 5 is 4. So, what is the average of a set of data? Good! The average of a set of data is between the smallest data and the largest data. How can we find the average of a set of data? To find the average, we divide the total number or total amount by the number of data. The total number or amount by the total number of data. The average of data is between the smallest data and the largest data. How can we find the average of a set of data? To find the average, we divide the total number or total amount by the number of data. Do you remember this triangle? 
good. We can use this triangle to help us. From here, we know that to find the average, we divide the total number or total amount by the number of data. What should we do to find the total number or the total amount? We should multiply the average by the number of data. How about the number of data? How can we find the number of data if the average and the total number of data are given? We can find the number of data by dividing the total number or the total amount by the average. Is it easy to understand? Good! Now, please open your textbook on page 75, try 1A. The table shows the scores Huda obtained in three mathematics tests. 1, 2, 3. What is Huda's average score? How can we find the average score Huda obtained? Good job! Divide the total scores by the number of mathematics tests. First, we need to find the total scores. In the first test, Huda got 65. Then he got 75. Lastly, he got 82. What is the total score he got altogether? Good job! Total score equals 65 plus 75 plus 82 equals 222. Next, what should we do? We should divide the total score by the number of the test. How many mathematics tests did Huda take? That's right. 1, 2, 3. He take three mathematics tests so we divide 222 by 3 what is the answer it is 74 good job hence Huda's average score is 74 is it easy to understand well done now, let's move to page 76, try 1B. Four students sold t-shirts for a fundraising. The table shows the number of t-shirts each student sold. What is the average number of t-shirts each student sold? How can we find the average of number of t-shirts each student sold we should divide the total number of t-shirt sold by the number of the students how many t-shirts were sold altogether 12 plus 20 plus 16 plus 28 what is the answer it is 76 good job how many students are there Elison, Munah, Karina and Rena 1 2 3 4 there are four students 12 plus 20 plus 16 plus 28 divided by 4 equals 76 divided by Four. What is 76 divided by 4? It is 19. Good job! Hence, the average number of t-shirts each student sold is 19. Well done! Now, how about try to A? 
Cheryl spent all of her allowance in five days. She spent an average of three dollar and fifty cent each day. How much did she spend altogether in five days? How many days are presented? Good job, five days. What was the average of money she spent in five days? Good, three dollar and fifty cent. Remember, we can use this magic triangle to help us. We know the given average is three dollar and fifty cent, and the number of data is five. How can we find the total amount? Amazing! Look at this triangle. We can find the total amount by multiplying the average of money that she spent by the number of days. Five times three dollar and fifty cent. What is the answer? Seventeen dollar and fifty cent. Hence, she spent seventeen dollar and fifty cent all together in five days. Well done. Let's try to solve try three a. Page seventy-seven. Jane had sixty dollar. She spent an average of five dollar each day. How many days did she take to spend all her money? What is the total amount of Jane's money? It is sixty dollar. What is the average? Amount Jane spend each day. It is five dollar. Good. Remember, we can use this magic triangle to help us. We know that the total amount of money is sixty dollar, and the given average is five dollar. What do we need to find? We need to find the number of the day. How can we find the number of the day? Amazing! Look at this triangle. We can find the number of the days by dividing the total amount of money by the average she spent. What is sixty divided by five? It is twelve. Well done. Hence. She took twelve days to spend all her money. Well, this is the summary of today's lesson. Do you remember the formula of average? Fantastic! To find average, we divide the total amount by the number of data. What should we do to find the total number or the total amount? We should multiply the average by the number of data. How about the number of data? How can we find the number of data if the average and the total number of the data are given? We can find the number of data by dividing the total number. Or the total amount by the average. Is it easy to understand? Well done. To have better understanding about this lesson, please do some practices in your math workbook on pages forty-five until forty-eight. Do your best and type your answers in the comment column of this post. If you have any difficulties, you can ask me directly through Google Classroom. To end this lesson, let's pray together. Amen. 
Thank you for your attention. Have a great time.